it's kind of weird, right? A couple of things. How they never refer to Takeoff's name by his last name or by his government name. So that's an advancement of their career so they can look cool to the youth. But not only that, they're trying to paint this man as a drunk with a gun who's also broke. The state of Texas versus Patrick Xavier Clark, case number 1797220 in the 232nd Criminal District Court of Harris County, Texas. Defendants, ex parte, motion to provide funds for expert assistance to the honorable judge of said court. Comes now the defendant in the above numbered entitled cause and moves this court, ex parte, pursuant to 5th. 6th, 8th, and 14th Amendments of the United States Constitution, Article 1, Sections 3, 3A, 10, 13, and 19 of the Texas Constitution, and Article 26.05A of the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure to provide funds for private investigators to assist in the preparation of his defense and for good cause shows the following. 1. The defendant is charged with felony offense of murder. The defendant is indigent. Although counsel has been retained to represent the defendant, his family has exhausted all finances to pay for his attorney who has agreed to substantially reduce rate. He cannot afford to hire private investigators to assist in the preparation of his defense. Two. The services of private investigators are necessary to enable the defendant to properly investigate his case and to prepare effectively for trial, present evidence on his own behalf, and to cross-examine state witnesses. 3. An adequate and thorough investigation into all of the facts and circumstances related to the defendant's case can be achieved only through the use of qualified and competent private investigators. Counsel has conferred with Jim Willis of Willis & Associates Professional. The State of Texas versus Patrick Xavier Clark, cause number 1797220 in the 232nd Criminal District Court of Harris County, Texas. Order on defendant's ex parte motion to provide funds for expert assistance. Came on to be considered the defendant's ex parte motion to provide funds for expert assistance in the case upon consideration of the motion and argument of counsel. It is hereby granted. The court hereby authorizes defense counsel to secure private investigative services for the defendant in order to assist the defendant's counsel in representing the defendant in this case. The court hereby authorizes the payment of reasonable investigative fees inexpensive upon submission of a statement of the fees and expenses incurred not to exceed $5,000 pending further order of this court. It is further ordered that the Harris County Sheriff's Office allow access to the above defendant Patrick Xavier Clark SPN number. 02967474 and that the Harris County Sheriff's Office allowed a private investigator's name herein to enter the Harris County Jail with a laptop computer, printer, and audio recording device when visiting the defendant. Jim Willis, Willis and Associates PI license C20887. Authorities say he was seen on camera firing a gun with one hand while holding a wine bottle with the other. Maria Aguilera is outside the courthouse with the latest tonight. Maria. Marcelino, tomorrow Clark will formally go before a judge in a court appearance with his attorney here over a month since a shooting that killed Migos rapper Takeoff. Patrick Clark is the man Houston police have charged with murder a month after the shooting that led to the death of Kersnick Ball, known as Takeoff, one of the rappers in the group Migos. In a court document, it shows Clark listed himself as a self-employed DJ and his income as zero dollars, asking for a court-appointed attorney. We decided that there is probable cause for your arrest in your particular case. In court Friday night, it was revealed that Clark was allegedly caught on camera firing his weapon while holding a wine bottle in his other hand and he allegedly had plans to leave the country. Houston police say the 28-year-old takeoff in Quavo were at a private party with about 40 other people when shots were fired outside 810 Billards in Bowling Alley. Police said the party ended around 1 a.m., but the group gathered outside for more than an hour after the party ended. HPD Chief Troy Finner said takeoff was not the intended target that night. Definitely wrong place at the wrong time. Police say not one person stuck around to give police a statement about what they saw. Chief Finner is asking those who were there when the shooting happened to come forward. We know who was on the scene and we will be uh, contacting and reaching out and finding those individuals. Uh, this is a murder. Clark's bond has been set at $2 million.
If Clark makes bond, he faces a list of conditions, including house arrest. I spoke with his attorney over the phone today who says he has no comment at this time. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. <laughs> DJ Pat smart. DJ Pat just got the state to give $5,000 of their own money to fight his case against takeoff. They said, private investigators, we're going to give you $5,000 to hire private investigators. So he spent all his money basically on getting a lawyer who already had a game plan. Bro, do y'all realize all you cats in Texas? Do y'all realize y'all now can do this? You can go to uh, 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 Cameron Patrick, or Patrick Cameron, whatever his name is, I forget it right now, versus Harris County and reference this case number to say they granted him a private investigator. You got to give us one too. Now, I don't know if this happening before, and it probably has, because you wouldn't just pull this out of your head. Bro, this is genius. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Hey, bro, you know, rest in peace to us. I mean, take off, pardon me. Rest in peace to take off. But, bro, this is next level genius, because if he didn't do it, they dang near can prove that. That's the crazy part of all of this. Because one thing I was wondering was like, bruh, why did they just run an interference on each other? Like, hey, we got over 30 witnesses and all that, and we know who you are. It's best that you come to us. Why didn't they threaten them with jail time? And then the white investigator was basically like, yeah, we got ballistics. We got trajectory. We got recreation. We got a bottle being dropped. And I kept on wondering, why in the world do we know all of this before anything? Because it might be that they ain't really got nothing. There was multiple people with guns in that establishment. Your man DJ Patrick or DJ Pat 713 ain't no dummy. So this gonna get interesting. I know, I know y'all finna be mad like Nash. Why do you sound excited? Bro, I'm a hood lawyer. I'm not a real lawyer. I'm a hood lawyer. But this right here, this is this is wild. You just got the state to pay for your private investigators. I ain't never heard of nothing like this. But either way that go, one of the things that's going to be hard for him to prove is, bro, I wasn't drunk, even though technically they had to prove that. But, bro, you got the bottle in your hand. We probably got videos of you swigging and everything like that. We can look up the alcohol content. We can make, we can make an assessment on your weight and everything like that to say if you drank this much, bro, like two glasses is whatever. Typically, what they say, 0 0.8 is about two to three glasses, depending on weight and height and blah, 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 and BMI and all that. I got all that. But if we can show this man holding his bottle upside down and all this stuff, we might be able to turn around and do this as well. Basically, what I'm getting to is it doesn't look good for the prosecutors. Did they jump the gun? Possibly, possibly not. Because the one thing that he has that's holding him back is the simple fact of, hey, man, why in the world did you get an expedited uh, passport? That doesn't make sense. That's bad because of intent. You better have one hell of a story because it's going to be hard to say that buddy snitched, that, that little Cam snitched. And I was wondering, bro, why would his lawyer put it out there that he could snitch? Because by him snitching, he helps out the case for the prosecution because the prosecution seemed like they don't really got nothing. Because I'm wondering, like, bro, what, what the hell? Like, bro, yo, lawyer jumped on camera like, yo, little camera ready to write if you got a deal. Ah, it all makes sense. But y'all subscribe, turn on this bell to stay notified. Share to keep your people aware. Let me know your thoughts and theories on this one. I'd be curious to see exactly what y'all think. Maybe y'all think like me. Maybe y'all don't. Maybe y'all got something completely different. But I also want to know, do y'all want me to create a video specifically for Migo Bands or no. Subscribe, turn on that bell to stay notified.
to the crew that's the truth with the visionaries i'll catch y'all in the next one this is wild ain't it y'all expect me to keep it real because you know that i will i do this daily baby check out the nightly nash podcast also street and music city nash if you have not it's on all streaming platforms guaranteed you're gonna find something you like probably like that overly thugging freestyle or maybe something different let me know in the comments we possibly shoot that music video